to do. Oh, those are heavy. Need my guns today. Hi everyone. Today I wanted to do a high street haul because I did a little bit of shopping. I got things from H&M, Primark, Cop Shop, and m and I'll start with m and because it's a weird one. Um, I go there for one thing and one thing only, and that's jeans. I have a big old size 12, but uh, it's not that big. <laughs> um, but it's it seems to be bigger than my waist. So often, if I try and buy clothes, um, jeans elsewhere, they they, they kind of be, seem to be made for like straight up and down people. People who are, you know, consistently same size. And if, uh, my thighs are quite big as well. Like if I get jeans that fit my thighs, they don't fit my waist. They just kind of, like my waist is here and the jeans are like here. They fit everywhere else, but yeah, I go in at the middle a little bit. Um, but m and jeans fit me really well and I always get my jeans from there. Um, reasonable prices, good quality, seem to last. Yeah, that's where I get my jeans from. If I try and buy them from Topshop, they never fit. Um, if they fit on my legs and butt, then they don't fit my waist. And if they fit my waist, they, yeah, vice versa, you get it. Anyway, so I got these skinny jeans in grey. They're actually a size um, petite. It says petite on this little paper piece of tag. Meh. Which means that the ankles will be quite short, but they're rolled up anyway, so I could either unroll them or just style out the fact that I'll have my ankles on show. I mean, my ankles are tattooed, so I don't mind showing them off. Very nice ankles. Um, yeah, I just, I don't have any pair of, of grey jeans. No, I do. I have some grey jeans from Primark. Um, but they're high-waisted. And I like high-waisted jeans, but they do not look good on me. I have not been able to find a style of high-waisted jeans that look flattering on me. Because I have a bit, a bit of a tum-tum and they just emphasise it. I don't know if anyone else has this problem. It feels like it's only me. Tell me, <laughs> tell me in the comments below if you can't wear high-waisted jeans. Supposedly, they like would suck you in, but like... But no, maybe it's just because I'm getting Primark, who knows. Anyway, I also got some relaxed skinny jeans in dark blue and again, they have the turn up. I tried lots of jeans in m and and these are just the ones that fitted really well and looked good. Um, and I actually have worn through two pairs of my blue jeans and now I don't have any blue jeans, so these are my blue jeans now. Um, the knee went, and I know it's fashionable to have a ripped knee, but it's kind of gone further than that. <laughs> I'll show you. Here we go. Uh, these were from m and actually. They were blue jeans, and they've eventually ripped at the knee. I didn't do it on purpose, it just happened. The thing I've noticed with ripped knee jeans is that when it happens naturally, it happens lower down on the jeans than up here would be where um, you might rip it in a fake way to make it look cool. Um, oh, look, I've also like bleached them here. <laughs> Got a bleach mark when I was bleaching my hair and dyeing it or something. Uh, yeah, these are in pretty bad condition. The butt hasn't gone, there's no butt holes. Just the knees. But the rip happens lower down because when your knee is bent, like the fabric is the point where it rips. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, basically, it means that it doesn't show off your cool knee tattoo. Let me show you my... Oh no, I can't. I'm wearing trousers that don't prohibit... Allow me to show you my knee tattoo. Oh well. <laughs> um, yeah, if you've got a rip on your knee and you want to show off your knees, your lovely knees. <laughs> Mine is personally, one of them is adorned with a little tattoo. But um, that hurt a lot, by the way. But, um, if you buy jeans that have been purposefully ripped at the knee, then it will show it off properly. Whereas if your jeans have ripped naturally, it's happened higher up or lower down. I don't know. Basically, it just never shows off my knee. So what is the point in having a rip that isn't even in the right place? So it's not a fashion statement. Yeah, those were from m and originally. And to be fair, they have lasted two, three years. I don't know. A long time. Um... These are from River Island. These have lasted like max two years, I think. 
uh, which is pretty good considering I wore them a lot. Yeah, River Island Denim Division. These are these were really nice, and I'm really sad that they're gone. Basically, uh, yeah. Um, the fabric's really nice and soft. It's kind of like a brushed cotton. I used to have a black brushed cotton school skirt which I loved because it looked slightly like old velvet and the teachers always told me off and were like you have to wear a skirt made of cotton and I said it is made of cotton meh <laughs> and I wore that skirt anyway yeah so these are gone at the knee boop and also the butt boop sadly I love these jeans but um they have shrunk a little bit over the years so they're a bit they're almost a bit short now, and I'm 5'6", so I wouldn't say I'm massively tall, but I'm a bit taller than your average bear. Anyway, let's go to Topshop. Whee! In Topshop land, I purchased some more sunglasses, because I really liked the other pair that I bought. I liked them so much that I bought another pair. They, these ones are different course. Ta-da! Yeah! These are, um, they are matte black with blue mirror shiny lenses, uh, sort of cat eye shaped, and they have a little silver bit here. And I like them. So I got them, and I got them in the black top shop case that comes free with their sunglasses which is super awesome. The other thing that I got from Topshop is this jacket. It's a boxy black denim jacket. Um, I really like it. It's got a really good shape to it. I really wanted a denim jacket and my mum was buying a denim jacket and it had a dog and a hamster but they were sort of they were like a stone washed blue and they were all the wrong shape for me until I found this beast. I really like the foxy shape. It's a slightly shorter length, um, slightly cropped I guess. Um, silver buttons, chunky, boxy. I like it. How much I'm gonna wear it now? Let me show you a bit further away. gonna fall apart like my jeans did <laughs> so yeah I think it's okay let's call it an investment and now to Primark from Primark I got this bag which to be honest has loads of my stuff in because I'm using it now as my everyday handbag because my River Island uh, which is also a kind of black faux leather effect um, died recently the handles kind of fell apart and I have had that for a long time so I don't feel bad about it but this is my new little Primark handbag. The reason I like it is it's black, it's a satchel, it's a good uh, size, crossbody. Um, the metal is a dark silver, which I really like. Uh, it's got a pocket here, pocket here, and a compartment. In the compartment, it's got one inner pocket, which isn't zipped. Okay. Um, it's got a kind of plaited bit here. Yeah, it's good. Good size, good shape. Not much more to say about it. Blah. The other thing that I got from Primark is a sweater, which is inside out. Or jumper, as you might call it. But it is amazing. On the catwalk this year, I've noticed that uh, embroidery was big. It's kind of done now, so it's a bit late, Primark. Good. But I mean, embroidery is still beautiful. So, look at this sweater. Look at the sleeves. Ooh. That is so pretty. 
it's really nice. I got this in a size 14, so it's slightly oversized on me, which is what I wanted. swiftly to the land of H&M. I have two bags from H&M. Uh, I went to London recently and one bag is from the H&M in London. I don't know where, Oxford, something, the big one, I don't know, the big one on the busy street. And the other one is from my hometown. So, uh, let's go there first. This is what I got. That's it, yeah. £13 this massive bag. Oh, I love holographic things so much. So much. I had a Topshop wallet that was holographic and I lost it at a festival and no one handed it in. Keep the money but God give me the holographic wallet back but no, no one did. Um, but this could be really good for a computer. It won't fit my laptop, my laptop's a bit bigger than this but um could be good. I think I'm just gonna like use it for taking makeup away when I do such a thing because I don't know I take a lot of makeup with me wherever I go because I I don't know I like having options basically um, and I got this fluffy key ring which is purple and that was $2.99 um, and it's lovely and I thought they go well together but I don't know I might put it on my keys I might put it on something else I haven't decided yet. What I liked about the keyring also was that it has like a little clip thing, looks pretty sturdy. Let's put you back on the zip. It's so big, isn't it? I could wear it. It's a beautiful hat when you're um, perhaps a sort of a navy hat when you're going sailing in Spain. <laughs> oh god. What am I saying? Yes, anyway, it's lovely and it's holographic and it makes me happy. That's what I got from H&M. And then in the London H&M, I've kind of forgotten what I got. Ah, trousers. Black, loose, baggy trousers with pretty birds on, like parrots, pelicans, storks, parrots. Did I say parrots? Black and white print, baggy, loose, comfortable, elastic waistband, perfect for summer, uh, summer's fast, but I can wear it next summer, and also I'm going on holiday, um, and it's somewhere hot, and I need some hot weather trousers, I guess. And the other thing that I got from H&M, ooh, yeah, I've forgotten about this, um, this grey t-shirt with black lace. Ooh. It's like an off the shoulder top. Gotta get in on that off the shoulder trend. Yeah, just a plain grey t-shirt with lovely black lacy, stretchy lacy top. Um, show off my shoulders. These are in the sale, so I don't know if they'll still be around, sorry, but I'll show you anyway. Um, this athletic looking grey t-shirt with the number 18 written on it. Yep, it's cool. That's just grey. Lovely. This uh, grey body, which has oof, a very plunging v-neck. And do it up at the bottom. Um, this looked very sexy in the changing rooms and I had to have it. I just liked it, it looked sexy. It's my going out looking sexy top now. Although I'll have to wear it with something else. <laughs> Unless I'm doing aerial poop or performing in a circus, then I could just wear it on its own I guess. But I think if I was in the circus I'd want something a bit more sparkly. Anyway, last thing that I got from New Look also in the sale, and it's 
bloody fabulous and I love it. Um, is this denim blue? Uh, I have so many things to say about you. Oh, this does up at the neck at the back. Um, the buttons and the elastic. The buttons in the elastic there, that elastic, when you're doing it like right behind your neck, that's going to be so difficult to do. <laughs> oh well. Um, yeah, it's like high necked and then it has, uh, I don't know, it's ombre, it's striped, it's everything really. It's in like a denim colour. Denim blue, dark blue to light blue at the bottom. High neck, sleeveless, so it comes down here. Goes to light blue with stripes at the bottom and it's a kind of swing style. I just feel like this top ticks so many fashion boxes basically stripy, leafless, swingy, high neck go really well with jeans because of the denim and also other things obviously yeah that's what I got um, whenever I want to do a haul I always keep everything in the bag and don't wear it until I've um, shot, shot the video so I haven't been able to wear any of these beautiful things yet because I'm like no you can do it when you've done the video <laughs> it's just to encourage me to get it done um, so now I can finally wear them, so I'm very excited about that. Yay! These are my lovely new things. And that's my video, hope you liked it. Hope you have a great day. Um, I hope you feel fabulous too. And if you don't, tell yourself nice things. Okay, bye!